Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Brothers and sisters, today is the 14th of February. And the 14th of February is commonly known as the Valentine's Day around the world. It is a day in which a lot of people will be expressing their, their love, their heartfelt love towards the most uh, closest people towards them. And that is their wives, their uh, husbands, uh, their mothers, their daughters, their um, uh, sisters sometimes. But actually it is a day in which a lot of people express their love towards those people that are not halal for them. And they are their girlfriends and their boyfriends. It is a day in which a lot of women will be going out, uh, a lot of men will be going out and seeking partners. Those that don't have partners will seek to find partners on this day. There will be a lot of dating, a lot of haram will take place and of course uh, at night a lot of zina will take place. It is a day in which unfortunately this topic of love has been glorified in a way where love has lost its true meaning and unfortunately today we find physical love as considered to be love today. Brothers and sisters, in Muslim countries, in the months following uh, Valentine's Day, which is about approximately nine or eight months after that, which is uh, October, November, we find a huge spike in the number of children that are dumped. We find these children being dumped in uh, orphanages. We find them being dumped in uh, shopping centers. You know, we find them sometimes even in the garbage bins. You know, children, subhanAllah, being dumped. Do you know why? It's because uh, virgins take it as February to be the month in which they lose their virginity. This is a tremendous haram, tremendous problem, tremendous, tremendous social evil that is now unfortunately being perpetrated on a global scale. My brothers, my sisters in Islam, those who are falling into love for the first time, fall into love in the right way. Don't make the love that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala creates in your, in your heart a means for you to lose the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Don't replace the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that is the real reason why you were created with the love of a human being, uh, be it a special human being, but to express that love in a way in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has not permitted you. Get married and get married early and seek the permission of your parents to try to get married early. And even if you don't have enough wealth, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you wealth. My brothers in Islam, zina is a very evil deed. It is that a person who is not related to another one uh, legally um, and not bound by marriage that they actually sleep together and they procreate and in a way in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has not allowed. The Prophet sallam, told us that the zina is a terrible crime. Ibn Qayyim rahimullah, mentions so many problems with a person who commits zina. Number one, a person who commits zina, uh, adultery, uh, betrays the trust that Allah has given him. He betrays the trust of his family. He betrays the trust of his wife, of his children. He breaks the ties of kingship. He loses the nur and the, and the happiness that's on his face. He is filled with alienation from people. He loses chivalry. He loses any level of jealousy in his heart. Uh, he has no more self-respect. He loses the title of a believer. A person who commits zina is no longer considered a believer. That person is only a Muslim. But at the time of commit, committing zina, he has lost his title of being a believer and he will never ever be known as a believer unless and until he sincerely repents. My brothers and sisters in Islam, zina is a terrible crime. The Prophet said in an authentic hadith that Jibreel and Mikail took me by my hand in my sleep and took me to a place where I saw people that were naked and being burnt in a furnace. And a huge furnace was lit and these naked people were being burnt there and the fire would come out from the bottom and then every time the fire would come out would burn the people and then the people would be reformed again and then they would fall back into the furnace again. Who are these people? Jibreel and Mikail said that these are the people who committed zina in this dunya. This is how they have been punished in this world, in this world. Look at the punishment of Allah and the seriousness of what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says about zina. Uh, in the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Wala taqrabu zina, do not come near zina. Innahu kana fahishata wa sa'a sabila. It is a evil deed, a very, very filthy evil deed, and it leads a person astray in the evil path. Wala taqrabu zina, Allah says, do not approach zina. What does that mean? It means do not do anything to even approach it. Yeah, you might find it harmless today to just buy a little bit of flour, some strawberries, a bit of chocolate for your, for your sweetheart. That might be uh, harmless. You might even call a girl a sweetheart or a boy a sweetheart and then you text, your, uh, text each other, and WhatsApp each other and then you, you're on Twitter and Facebook and you're, and you're getting to know each other. It may be harmless to you, but this is what Allah says, do not do. Wala taqrabu zina, do not come near zina. My beloved brother, my sister Islam, I do realize that this need for a human being to be comforted by human beings 
being is very natural. It is a natural need. It's a hunger of the soul. It's a hunger of the body. But the way to quench this hunger is just like the same way to quench your, uh, the hunger that you have in your tummy. You don't go and steal, right? When you need, need food, you go and buy it. In the same way, you want to quench this hunger in your heart and your body, then you need to do it in the halal way, in the right way, which is to get married. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala encourage, uh, encourage our parents and our elders to help you get married. I highly encourage it and I tell my brothers and sisters everywhere to help those people who want to get married to get married. I encourage the giving of zakat to those people to help them become more wealthy so that they can actually get married inshallah. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ease this process and this path for you. Don't worry about what people say, oh, you're getting married so early, the only 20s and whatever. Yes, but subhanAllah, look at the problem. The problem is if you don't do so, how will you satisfy this, this hunger that you have within yourself? Are you going to now fall into zina and on Valentine's Day actually take that as, the, as a day to actually uh, lose your virginity and, 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 uh, and commit more haram? Please don't make this a day of sin. Don't make this a day of coming further away from Allah Azza wa Jalla, removing that love of Allah in the heart and replacing it with love for shaitan, love for evil, love for someone else. Ya ikhwati, my brothers, my sisters in Islam, stay away from zina, stay away from this haram. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save me and you and everyone else uh, who is listening to this and all Muslimin in all Muslim countries and non-Muslim countries. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save us all from zina and help us to find uh, a means of quelling our needs in a halal way. Zakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.